Would you always leave cookies out for Santa? I'd leave cookies out with milk. We leave carrots for the reindeer. I do know that Santa is not a big fan of like oat milk or almond milk. He loves yeah. a good two percent. Yeah. Which I totally understand. Hello, beautiful human. Happy holidays to you and to your family. I'm Zach. This is my friend, my family, Conspiracy Claudia. Hi. And this is the season to give back. There's so many organizations doing incredible work, including our friends over at the Hollywood Food Coalition. And if you don't know of the Hollywood Food Coalition, they give back hot, high quality meals to our neighbors in LA that need it. Yeah, we partner with GoPuff to not only bring all the food behind us to our friends over at the Hollywood Food Coalition, but to also match donations up to $5,000 in total. I think it's time we make some deliveries. Let's get to work. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. No, you got it. No, 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 come in, come in. I don't got anything. Oh. Oh, you can't live without your selfies. No, let's go. They know us so well. Mm. I'll drive? Yes. I wonder what Santa Claus is doing right now. Well, it's the beginning of December. So like, he really needs, he needs to make sure that list is checked. Toys are done. Rudolph is ready. This is his Super Bowl. So would Santa come on the show and would you like interview him? Yeah, Santa's no been on way. the show a bunch. I also had him for a long time, do people's dirty work. So if you had bad news that you had to like share with somebody, a parent or a friend. You would make Santa deliver the bad news? Yeah. <laughs> We're here. Here we are, Hollywood Food Coalition. Boom. Reindeer hairs? Yes. Yeah. Need it. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hollywood Food Coalition started in 1987 and has served a nightly meal every single night since then without fail. Wow. That's our dinner program. And in May of 2020, as a response to the pandemic, we started this program, which is called the Community Exchange. We started getting more food donations as restaurants were closing down, mm -hmm. and we had other neighbors asking for help as their needs increased. And if I'm somebody that needs to get some of this food or is looking for help, like how do I get that? You can call our number. Okay. Any nonprofit organization is welcome to call. You're helping nonprofits that go on to help a bunch of people. The reality is like you guys take in everything and you find the right home for it no matter what it is. Because food waste is a huge issue. Yeah, we throw away 30 to 40% of our fresh food every year in the US and can feed every hungry person with that food we're throwing away. So what do you need now more than ever? We need a new space and we need additional equipment mm -hmm. and staff. There's so much we can do and keep growing. It starts with food and we can treat a lot of other things that are uh, issues right now. Food is at the center of everything. Exactly. It's really special. Thank you so much. So please text Zach to 53555 and you can help build this place out. Not just this holiday season, but literally every single day of the year. 365 days a year without fail for 35 years and counting. It's a real game changer. I'm a pretty good driver. Huh? Yeah, you've done actually really well so far. And I'm surprised you know exactly where we're going too. I don't. Uh, don't tell anybody else that. <laughs>